right, guys, Tuesday afternoon, and it sure didn't feel like a hurricane's on the way. It felt like summer. It'll feel like it again tomorrow. But here is the timing about everything you need to know when Hurricane Dorian arrives in central North Carolina. The wind and the rain will be here Thursday and Friday. So as you plan what's going to happen at your house, remember that's soon. That's less than two days now. We're coming up on it. The rain will move in from the south about 6 a.m. Thursday morning. It'll exit to the northeast about lunchtime Friday. Total rainfall, depending on where you are, will be anywhere from one to five inches. The wind, which could get as high as 30 to 50 miles per hour, those are gusts, will again move in from the south about 9 a.m. Thursday and then start to calm down about 9 a.m. Friday. So again, most of our impacts are gonna be on Thursday and I think that's when we'll have most of the changes. Businesses and offices rescheduling, schools canceling. We've already had Wayne County do that. I think the airlines are gonna have a tough time of it. So that's on Thursday. Hopefully life will slowly get back to normal on Friday. One of the good things about after the hurricane, it's not going to feel this hot and humid. It felt hot and humid today. As many of us topped out around 90, it's very muggy outside, and we're going to do that all over again tomorrow. But because the humidity is so high, it's not going to cool down much tonight. We have no rain to worry about tonight. A few fair weather clouds out there. We'll be down to around 80 at 8, drop through the 70s overnight. And again, tomorrow morning starts off warm and muggy. And then we look down to the south. Hurricane Dorian, the latest from the National Hurricane Center, winds are now 110 miles per hour. And that's the headline today, the storm weekend. But remember, while it may not be a Cat 4 or 5 when it gets here, it's still going to be a Category 2, and that's what it is now. It's a little more disorganized, that well-defined eye. We don't see that anymore, but again, it still has gusts up to 130 miles per hour. And it's moving, which it didn't for a very long time. It's now moving to the northwest at 6 miles an hour. Hour. So we showed you the latest track at the top of the newscast. I'm going to zoom in a little closer and talk about what that means. First of all, Thursday at 2 o'clock, 105 mile per hour winds just off the coast of Charleston. Could be a little farther away, could be a little inland. Remember, that's what the cone means. The eye could be anywhere in this shaded yellow. By the time we get to Friday afternoon, it's moving northeast of the Outer Banks as a Category 1. Between these two times, it's going to be moving probably about 15, 16, 17 miles an hour. That's fast enough to prevent a disastrous flooding event here, but we're still gonna have some heavy rain and some wind. So remember, the storm could be right here at two o'clock Thursday. It could be on the inland edge of the cone, and this is the actual size the storm could be. It could also be a little farther off. We don't know the exact path yet, so we're planning on farther away and we're planning on a little closer. And by Thursday night, it could be right here approaching the outer bank. So that gives you a good idea of what it could look like. Here's what the radar could look like. I'm going to pick it up tomorrow at lunchtime when, again, no impacts other than some clouds, maybe some showers late Wednesday night. But the real outer rain bands, Wednesday at 10, are still down by Charleston approaching Myrtle Beach. They start to get into our state first thing early Thursday morning, right about sunrise, and then they'll start to climb into the sand hills about 8 or 9 a.m. The bulk of the heavy rain moves into the sand hills about lunchtime on Thursday. It'll overspread the rest of us by Thursday afternoon. And remember, the farther west you go, the less rain you're going to see. The farther east, the more rain you're going to see. Here we are Thursday at 7 o'clock. Most of us getting some heavy rain. There's the eye of the storm moving closer to the Wilmington area. Late Thursday night, still some heavy rain. There's the storm moving toward, though, the Atlantic Beach area. Here we are early Friday morning. Notice the back edge of the rain starting to pull out of our area as the eye of Hurricane Dorian is over the outer banks. Then by lunchtime Friday, the storm will start to speed away, pull away from our state. We'll actually start to see some sunshine, but it's still expected to be breezy. So that's what the radar hour by hour is going to look like Thursday and Friday. By the time it's all said and done, here's how much we could have in the bucket. Again, most of us are going to see one to four inches. Less the farther west you go, more, as much as four to six along the I-95 corridor, the farther east you go. As for winds, let's go kind of hour by hour and talk about that. Thursday morning, we will start to see the winds pick up on the coast. For us, Thursday afternoon and Thursday night will be the windiest time, and then we'll start to see things calm down as we head into Friday. But those winds will be strong enough to result in some isolated power outages. All that said, that's why we remain on alert 
on Thursday as Dorian approaches our state. Hot and humid tomorrow, drying out Friday, and we've got a decent weekend with highs in the upper 80s.